So if SMAP was enabled on Windows 10, basically in order to exploit this vulnerability, you will need some sort of memory address reservation vulnerability. So you need to know where you can control data on the kernel side. And so there has been some techniques. And I think one that would work on Windows 10 1809 is that there is a way that you can introduce data on a kernel heap, which isn't the non-page pool, but it's related to Win32K. And it is called the desktop heap. And you can basically introduce arbitrary data into that heap and leak out the addresses where that data is. And so basically you would do everything that we've described, but instead of pointing a fling pointer into userland and abusing it this way, which we'll talk about later, you would end up pointing it onto the desktop heap, but there are a lot of limitations with that, which are sort of beyond the scope of what we talk about in this course. The main one being that Win32K stuff like that isn't callable from inside of a sandbox, like a, a browser sandbox, for instance. Whereas what we will talk about in this course typically works from inside of a sandbox. 